In the beginning. That's how the Gospel of John kicks off. If this opening line sounds familiar, well, that's because he borrowed it from the creation story in the very first book of the Bible, Genesis. It's the writer's way of tipping us off that the story he's about to tell is a story of new creation. In the first creation story, God spoke everything into existence. In John's story, God speaks a new word, and that word is Jesus. For John, Jesus signals a new beginning, the dawn of a new reality. In fact, John builds his entire story around this idea. He portrays Jesus as a light shining in the darkness, echoing God's very first words at creation, let there be light. Genesis depicts creation taking place over six days, followed by a seventh day of rest. In the Jewish tradition, the number seven came to symbolize perfection or completion, a finished work of God. John weaves this imagery into the structure of his whole book. After a short prologue that echoes the creation story, John dives in, telling the story of Jesus in two main parts. All the action in part one is spread across seven sections. This first half of John's gospel is sometimes known as the Book of Signs because it contains seven miracles performed by Jesus, along with five of the seven I Am statements in John's gospel, where Jesus uses an ancient name for God to say something about himself. Part two, sometimes known as the Book of Glory, narrates the end of Jesus' life. His death occurs on the sixth day of the week. On the seventh day, Jesus rests in the tomb, just like God rested after the work of creation. The resurrection takes place on the first day of a new week, which turns out to be the first day of a brand new reality. John wasn't shy about his motive for writing. He wanted people to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the author of a new creation, the source of a new life. This motive prompted other writings as well including three short letters to those who were struggling to hold on to their original faith in Jesus as Messiah. Through all his writings, John holds up Jesus as the surest sign of God's love and the hope of a new beginning. 